Mr. Mitu, why are indigenous people in Ethiopia on the brink? They are on the brink because there is a natural resource, there is you know, a race for natural resource. For example, what's going on now, land grab is one big issue in Ethiopia. This is a country that cannot feed them people. And they are giving the, part, the most fertile land to foreign investors. Sometimes these investors are using it for uh, biofuel and even they are using it for this food that grows flowers rather than a food for these indigenous people. And what we also found is that the indigenous people are not included on this uh, agreements. The contract is not available. So we really don't even know how what is in this contract. Some of the lease land is leased for 99 years. So 99 years you would think that something, you know, the local people first should be included. Second, what is really going on to the people who live in this land. So and now the indigenous people will be displaced and their life will be disrupted forever. So I call that life grabs, not land grab. The life of these people will be changed forever. Second, the dam. There's a dam that's been built in the Homo Bali part of Ethiopia. These indigenous people, none of them has never went to school. They don't know how what's going on, what will affect them. They cannot advocate for themselves. They cannot speak for themselves. So we think that what the race for these natural resources, excluding the people, will be a threat to the survival of these people as we know it. And what can the foreign media do to raise awareness of the problems of those indigenous people in Ethiopia? Excellent, that's an excellent question. What they could do is really, we have to really talk about this. For instance, we just wrote a report recently on a land graph. You know, there's a report which will be founded on www.solidaritymovement.org. In this report, there's a recommendation what what we can do. So the forum then have to inform the people, to inform the donor country in particular, who are giving the Ethiopian government to tell the Ethiopian that these indigenous people have the right to live. So their life has changed and so the government should be able to do what is good for the people, not for the investor. So we believe that the foreigners for have the right to go and uh, pressure the Ethiopian government, to tell the Ethiopian government to protect the well-being of these indigenous people who have been living there, who will be displaced from their plan, their land because of the land, investor because of the dam, and so many things. So this is a role that these people, their life is in danger and require all of us to speak out for the right of these indigenous people. Mr. Metu, thank you very much for the interview. You are very welcome.